friends to Quebec. Chevy, who am on back? They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring a set. Hi, beautiful angels. I'm Angelica. I am a lash business coach and educator. If you're new here, if not, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about how you can create a stunning Instagram ad that will attract clients and grow your business. The best way that I can do this is I'm going to analyze a lash ad that was very successful for me. So hopefully you guys can learn something from this. You guys keep telling me to make long videos and I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I have the worst ADHD known to me. I have the attention span of a squirrel. I'm going to try to make longer videos. Today, I'm just gonna do like a get ready with me, let's do some makeup, let's glam up. I can create that longer in-depth video, at least I'm moving and you know, I just can't sit down for 10 plus minutes and talk in front of a camera. I can't, that's just the God honest truth. But anyways, let's get started. First things first, I wanna analyze an ad that worked for me. I'm gonna put like a video or a picture to the side and to see why it works. My biggest thing with ads, don't try to overcomplicate it or overthink it because simple ads work, right? A lot of people are scrolling on social media, they're trying to look for entertainment or whatever they're looking for online. They're really not trying to stop and read like a very confusing or long-winded ad. They're trying to get what they can get. So you really want to create something that's eye-catching, simple. That is my rule of thumb. Something simple, cute, eye-catching, and also irresistible. You need to have an offer that's irresistible. About 1,400 likes and also about 217 saves. In the caption, I said something very simple. Glam up your everyday look with my wispy lashes, lashes that look and feel like your own. If you take a notice, I didn't say book me now or this is what you can do. I didn't try to make it so because people, they're always looking at sponsor posts. Think about it, when you're on Instagram, when you're on TikTok, when you're on YouTube, it's always an ad. Like, people don't really like that. People don't really like being sold to all the freaking time. I really just kept it simple. And like, I wanted them to imagine themselves with my lashes. I didn't want to force anything on them. So I feel like that's what really worked. And also, people who like wispy lashes, never even got any wispy lashes before. They're like, hmm, you know, I could think of myself waking up just like this. It was very simple and that ad has brought me so much money. Literally, I got so many bookings off of that. So it's very simple. Now, like I said, I was being very laid back with it. I didn't have the ad direct people to my website to book directly. I just put it on profile visits. I wanted people to, you know, take my business in to see what I was all about. However, what I think played a really good role in this was I did have a nice little website. I've always had a website. I honestly never really just like did like a booking website because I feel like it made me stand out. And also my website was used so people can understand everything about me and my business. I feel like a lot of lash techs don't have websites and I feel like that is a great way for you to stand out basically. The website had all information about my business, what I offered, and yeah, all that good stuff. So people were looking at the business. The way I like to sell is very indirect. I probably look like a clown right now, but you know, trust the process. <laughs> now, first things first, when you're creating a good ad is you have to, have to, have to, have to know your target audience. What you want when people are scrolling and they're seeing your ad in order for them to interact is they have to feel like you understand them. They have to feel like you understand their pain points, their desires, their wants. I said it, it does not have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complicated. It can be a very, 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 very simple ad. But you need to know who your target audience is before you start making ads. The people who you're targeting, are they young professionals? Or is it like 50 year old women plus, stressed out moms? Are they young college kids? who's not in their career yet. Are they brides to be? Are they, is it like maybe a 30 plus year old mom who's very busy and who has her career? Who exactly are you targeting? The way for you to know who you're targeting is look at your lashes, girl. Look at your lashes. You know who is going to like your lashes best, okay? Different women wear different lash styles. That's exactly how you know who's gonna like your lashes. If you know who your audience is and you know who you're targeting, it's going to definitely help you pick the visuals, pick the images that you're using on your ads. And also it's gonna let you know how you're able to talk to that person. When a person sees an ad and they feel like, okay, this ad is speaking to me, that's when you know you got your client. 
Now, the second tip that I have for you guys is the message that your ad has. Your ad has to convey a compelling message to your clients. And like I said, you have to know exactly who you're targeting and also how to speak to them. Your message has to be compelling. Your message has to tell people what makes your lash services special. Do you offer a unique style? Wispy lashes, for example, is very unique. That's why I mentioned wispy lashes in my ad. Is it a unique style? Are you offering a new client special? Are you using high quality products? What makes you different? What makes you unique? That's the message that you need to put in your ads in order for people to stop and actually, you know, take a look at what you're doing. Just make sure that your messaging is clear, is straight to the point, and it's compelling. The third tip that I have for you guys is you have to choose the right visual for your ads. High quality videos and pictures are crucial to an Instagram ads because on Instagram, it's all about pictures. It's all about, you know, creating beautiful pictures and everything like that. Have the best lighting. Make sure the images or the video that you're using is very sharp, is edited. You already smooth out your client's skin and everything like that. You know, I really just want you to show off your best work on this ad. Use before and after pictures. What works for me is when I honestly do pictures up close, honestly, one eye has always just did it for me for my ads. If I take the same picture, right, and it's zoomed out versus if I zoom in and, you know, just only capture one person's eye, the picture that's zoomed in, that's what's going to give me way more attention than actually like, you know, showing a full face. That's just what has worked for me. So I would highly suggest you do that. Let's talk about your call to action now. When I told you guys that I was very like, you know, indirect, that's just my style. The reason why I don't like to do that, I feel like because every, every, you know, beauty service provider says, look now, look now, look now, look now. Look now. That's just why I don't like doing it. I feel like it makes me a little bit different. Also, I'm not being forceful. However, um, you can make a very like strong call to action if you want people to follow your page, if you want people to message you to maybe get like a discount code, you can do that, especially with like Facebook ads that works out pretty well. You can tell people, you can tell people they can book with you. That's just my like, you know, that's just my thing. I don't really like doing it. But you can tell people like, hey, you know, follow me here for more updates and everything like that. Like that is completely okay thing is how do you even edit your ad I mean, like a flyer type of ad that is completely okay and honestly I would suggest that you want to put all your wording on the picture canva is really great with that stuff if any of you guys have canva that works pretty great you can put your whatever fonts and everything like that on your ad use filters use effects on the wording and also the picture like I told you guys to really really edit your picture zoom in on the eyeball <laughs> and also just make it look really cute make it pop use the details option on there if you guys know what that is just to make it so your lashes can pop now let's talk about the caption that you're using on your image you want to write like an engaging caption that's going to get people's attention you can maybe use it to talk about your clients testimonials or reviews talk about results that you give your clients or maybe you can also provide more details about your service more detail about your lashes you could get educational with it um, how long they last what the process is like especially for if you're targeting people who don't really get lash extensions like that we'll talk about that basically you want to just keep it friendly inviting and also informational so people know you know what they're booking you want to put all your information in your ad basically mm -hmm. Now, very next thing is you want to post that ad when your target audience is active, the most active. Instagram has this. You can go on like your Instagram settings and check to see when your followers are most active at the certain hours and everything like that. If you're new to Instagram, you may not have all that, but the but a big thing to your Instagram ads, when you do post it, you do spend money, you're gonna be stalking those insights to see how many people are clicking, what are people doing, are they going on your website after they um, check the ads, are people liking it, are people saving it, is a good ad. That's what you do when you already did the ad and everything, like understand if it's working for you or not. If the ad is not working, I would honestly suggest you tweak and edit the ad to see if something else will work. Now, my last little tip for you guys is you have to have an irresistible offer that's connected to your ad. I highly suggest doing like a new client special. What an irresistible offer is, is basically an offer that you're providing that clients cannot 
for this like they have to book now that's the biggest thing you want them to book now so what you can do is create like a new client special that also has a deadline to it like okay you have to do this by this time in order to get this special it's only running now it's limited i'll highly suggest you to do that on your ad Whoa. Oh, we're all done. Fragrance for the day is going to be Jo Malone, Poppy, and Barley, and also Finery called Flower Bed. If you want to smell like that girl, these two. You may not want to mix it, that's what I do, but honestly, these smell just kiss. So that's it for today, girls. Thank you so much for watching me get ready. I would love to do more videos if you guys want more videos like this. And if you do need help with setting up your ads, just let me know. I have a program called Lash Like a Boss. One of my members, she was able to quit her job and also go into full-time lashes, which is what I want for you guys. So if you're interested in that, visit my website or you can message me on Instagram. I hope God blesses your business and brings you very much abundance. And I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.